do 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 all right guys, here's what you need to make some pan fried and fully loaded radishes. The first thing you're gonna get is approximately 170 grams of radishes diced and quartered. Then you're gonna need yourself two strips of bacon. I went with regular, you can also do thick cut bacon. One ounce of shredded cheddar, two tablespoons of sour cream, and two tablespoons of green onion. This really creates one of the best flavor profiles for this recipe, in my opinion. Um, and the way that you cut the radishes is I like to quarter them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a radish and you're gonna cut off both ends because uh, it's just the little bits there. And then you're gonna slice it down the middle and then take it again and cut it down then to little quarters. And you just really repeat these steps until you have uh, your entire amount of radishes diced and ready. All right, here's where you're gonna be double tasking. I like to boil the radishes at the same time that I cook the bacon. Um, the radishes, they can cook anywhere from five to 10 minutes, but I usually leave them boiling, boiling as long as the bacon's cooking. Um, and so those two just really sit together until it's done. Of course, bacon takes the normal cooking time. Boiling the radishes really gets them nice and soft. Um, and it drains some of that red color out so your water will turn purple. Don't be afraid of that. And you can really go with whatever bacon you want to do, but you're going to be saving the bacon grease to cook the radishes in once you start uh, cooking those. So definitely after you take the bacon out and set it to the side to cool, do not toss that grease out. You are going to need it in just a second. Once the radishes are done boiling, just take them and put them in a strainer. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do is really try and get off as much water as possible. Toss them around if you need to, they're gonna be steaming hot, but since you're gonna be adding these to the pan with bacon grease, what happens when you add water to bacon grease is it likes to pop at you. So to be on the safe side, just try and strain these as much as possible so when you add them to the pan, you don't get any grease popping. Trust me, it's happened, it's not fun, and let's just be safe and cautious with that one. Uh, just go ahead and take those already boiled radishes and put them into the pan, toss them around. You can season these how you want. I like to do a little Cajun seasoning, some salt, and just a touch of pepper to mine because make them just a little spicier. Uh, these can cook anywhere from 7 to 15 minutes. Really, the longer you cook them, um, so the more flavor I think it picks up, but it just depends on how soft you really want them. And when you get towards the end of cooking, when they've been cooking for a while, just be a little more gentle with tossing them because they can start to smush a little bit just because they're all hot and ready to be eaten. And my favorite way to plate these would be the cheddar down the bottom, then I top them with the hot radishes to help melt that cheese down. Then after that, I take the two tablespoons of sour cream and I just put that on top. Two tablespoons of green onion on top of the sour cream, the bacon, and then I finish it with some hot sauce. I think that really completes the entire recipe, giving you some delicious fried radishes. Uh, maybe this is the way you've never looked at this certain food before, and it's definitely a decent potato replacement in my opinion. Until my next video, just remember to hydrate, satiate, and celebrate. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye!